so good to be back in the house of God and to worship in person with good friends. I was fortunate to, to be able to worship with you online uh, in our time of being at home, uh, thanks to uh, Melanie Foster bringing the, uh, the sending us the uh, live feed over the internet. So we were able to worship with you, but there's nothing like being here in person. Amen. And worshiping together with God's people. <clears throat> I'd like to thank you, church family, my home group, and the security team for your prayers, cards, and phone calls during our time away. Almost a year ago, I went into the hospital for outpatient back surgery which seemed to be very successful. But about 10 days later, I was taken back to the hospital, unresponsive, with a septic infection. I don't remember much of it. For about two months, I was totally out of it, except for what my beautiful wife, and partner who was beside me 24-7 shared with me. As Don has said, he was septic, which is an infection in the bloodstream. He had blood clots in his lungs. He went through a washout of infection in his back again, along with more back surgery. He had atrophies of his muscles, which is walking, talking, and eating. And from there, they had to place a feeding tube. He was placed on a ventilator. He was, had IV antibiotic infusions for 10 weeks and then through re rehab. This is some of the journey we've been on, but th there's one part of my journal that the Lord revealed to me sitting in this hospital room. His requirements of waiting, three mm. bullet points that came to mind. The first one was faith. The Lord's ways are nothing like ours. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. Even when we don't understand why God delays, we can trust his character and faithfulness in knowing he'll do what's best. The second one is humility. Since the Christian life is God-directed rather than self-directed, submission to wherever he ordains us requires humility. The Lord is our master and we're totally dependent on him. And the third bullet point is patience. Long-suffering or forbearance. It's spiritual fruit that the Holy Spirit produces in us as we wait and trust God to intervene at the right time. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Waiting on God isn't passive or idle. It takes a determined focus on his wisdom, goodness, and faithfulness, no matter how challenging a situation may seem. And everybody knows Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Remember, God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are unlike our thoughts. His plans are so much bigger than we can ever imagine or dream. Watch him work out his unique plan for your life as it is revealed in his timing. His plan is best. As you can see, I was in a dark place, but God's grace shone through. Though I walked through the valley of death, he was with me, holding my hand. I'm a miracle, a trophy of God's grace. He promised he would never leave us or forsake us. God loves us, always has, and always will. Because of God's love, because God loves us, we are to love others, to edify one another, build up, bless, and be given to hospitality. That's why home groups are so important. Can I give a little plug? I challenge you, if you're not part of a small group or home group, get involved in the next couple weeks as we start our home groups for the next year. You will be blessed, and you will bless others. Galatians 6.2 says, Carry 
each other's burdens. And in this way, you will, be, you will fulfill the law of Christ. 1 Peter 4.10, each of you should use whatever gifts you have received to serve others. <clears throat> and it just so happened in my morning devotions and readings, I came across Hebrews 10, 24, 25. And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in that habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Thank you so much for being with us during this time of struggle. We are so blessed to have you as our partners and being with us all the, all the time. Thank you.